students today i am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given concave lens using a convex lens this method is called your combination method so to determine the focal length of the given concave lens i need a, a convex lens and a, a light source this is act as my object and a lens stand and i need a screen and i need a measuring scale so using this apparatus i am going to explain how to determine the focal length of the given concave lens the focal length of the con concave lens by combination method so we have to combine a convex lens and a, a concave lens if you are placing the object here so object should be placed between f and 2f my image is formed at this point so this is real and inverted this is my a and b this is a dash and b dash so my image formed at this particular point so now i'm going to write the focal length of the combined combined system so my 1 over f equals to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f so what is f1 so my f1 is nothing but focal length of the convex lens focal length of the convex lens my f is nothing but a small f is nothing but focal length of the of the given concave lens concave lens my capital f is a focal length of the combined combination so the focal length of the combination then i just want to find this focal length of the concave lens so i may write this equation 1 over f equals to 1 by f minus 1 by f1 then this can be written as f1 minus f by f into f1 this is my 1 by f1 so i may write this equation as sorry this is 1 by f so f equals to f f1 divided by f1 minus f so this is the required expression to find the focal length of the concave lens so the focal length of the concave lens is always a negative so i have already uploaded a video how to determine the fo focal length of the given convex lens i'll give the link in the description if you want to watch you can check in the description so we are going to use this table to find the focal length of the convex lens first is my f1 so u is my object distance v is my image distance and uh, u into v and uh, u plus v using these two columns i am able to find my focal length of the convex lens after finding this f1 we are combine both the lenses we are combine both the lenses and the place on the lens stand we are going to find the image distance for the given object distance value so using this u and v value we are able to find the focal length of the combined system so using this f1 and this capital f we are able to find the focal length of the given concave lens so first i will explain the experimental part so first i am going to explain how to determine the focal length of this convex lens so so the distance between the light source is my object and uh, the lens stand is u the distance between the lens and the screen is said to be b so first i am going to fix the the object distance u so the u is like between f and 2f so first i am going to fix my u values around 20 so u is 20 here so for this u value i just want to find the image distance so they are moving slowly 
the screen away from the lens so the image formed on the lens is clear at this point so now i'm going to measure the distance from the center of the lens and the screen here so the distance is approximately 54.5 for a particular u value my v is 54.5 54.5 so next i'm going to fix my u value is 22 so now i'm going to change the value from 20 to 22 so now we are going to find the corresponding image distance so now i'm going to move the screen away from the lens slowly so now observe the screen my image formed clearly at this point the distance from the lens and the screen is approximately 49.5 this will be 49.5 so now my u value is 24 now i'm going to vary the value of this 22 to 24 so now i'm going to move my screen until the clear image is formed see now the image is clear the distance from this point to this point is approximately 42.5 so now my image distance is 42.5 so next value is 26 cm my u so now i'm going to fix this value 24 to 26 so my now my object distance is 26 so now i'm going to move my screen away from the lens so now there is a formation of clear image so if i'm able to find the distance is 36.5 so this is going to be 36.5 cm for this 26 cm so now i'm going to increase my object distance is 28 cm now i'm going to move my screen slowly away from the lens so now that the clear image on the screen i am able to find the value is approximately 33.5 this is approximately 33.5 so this is 33.5 so using this u and v value we are able to find the focal length of the convex lens so now i'm going to explain how to determine the focal length of the combined system so this is my convex lens this is my concave lens so now i have to combine these two now i'm going to place these lenses combined together so your convex lens faces the object the concave lens is the screen so now i'm going to fix my value of my object distance it starts from 26 so my value of the of object distance is 26 so now i'm going to move my screen away from the 
लेंस डाउन दर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्लियर इमेज बट द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट इज लेस बिकॉज इट द लाइट शुड ट्रेवल अक्रॉस यूर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एस वेल एस कॉन्वेक्स कॉन्केव लेंस द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट विल बी रिड्यूस्ड सो नाउ द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थर्टी Thirty-three point five centimeters. So now I'm going to increase my object distance is twenty-eight. So I'm moving from here to here. It's going to be twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, and then now I'm going to move my. Screen I got my image at this point So now the distance will be From here to here is approximately 30.5 30.5 So next my object distance is 30 So now I'm going to place. This is thirty here, and then now I'm going to move my screen away from the lens. See, there is a formation of the image here. So the distance now will be from here to here is approximately. Twenty nine centimeters. Twenty nine centimeters. Now I'm going to measure for the thirty two. It's my object distance U value. So now I can move my screen. So there's a formation of image here. The distance from this point to this point is now twenty-seven. So for thirty-two, it's going to be twenty-seven. using my u and v using this observations for 26 cm of your u value my v is 33.5 next for 28 cm 30.5 for 30 cm is 29 using this observation i am able to find focal length of the combined system so using this f1 and f value here we are able to find focal length of the given concave lens using the focal length of the combined system f from the table and f1 from the first table so if you're subtracting all the values here we are able to find the focal length of the given concave lens by combination method so if you like this video share it with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thanks for watching